So, are you thinking about moving to Elberton, Georgia, but you kind of want to know the good and the bad before you do? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to share with you the pros and the cons of living in Elberton, Georgia. So, you're going to want to stay tuned so you don't miss a thing. Let's get busy. This is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything about eating, sleeping, working, playing, the good and the bad of everything Elberton, Georgia and the surrounding areas, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so that you can be the first to know about the current market in Elberton. My name is Melissa B. McCall, also known as The Selling Bee, and my team and I get calls and emails every single day from people just like you. They're looking for help on making their move to Northeast Georgia and the Western Upstate South Carolina, and we absolutely love it. Whether you are moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email. All of that information is in the description below. So we can help you make a smooth move to the Northeast Georgia area. All right, now let's get right to it. So one of the first pros to moving to the Elberton area is that the dollar can definitely stretch up and hurt, <laughs> all right? So if you're thinking about the housing market, right? This is one of the counties of all of the surrounding counties where we say that you can get more bang for your buck. The prices here and the, the level of demand are not as strong as some of the other places. This is a very rural community. And so your dollar can definitely stretch here if you're looking to get a lot of acreage versus if you were to buy in one of the surrounding communities like Hart County um, and Livonia, which are much closer to the Interstate 85 area. They also, those counties also include many different types of manufacturing places in addition to some of the other same types of businesses that Elberton includes. But Elberton is just a little bit further away. It's a little bit more inward, I would say, even though it's still on the border of South Carolina, but it's just more rural and um, a lot more country feeling. So you can get more bang for your buck. So just a few minutes ago, you know, I was kind of talking a little bit about the location, but location is also another pro to moving to the Elberton area. And what I mean by that is that you are literally right about 30 minutes from Athens and you're on the South Carolina border line. So What's really great about that is you can have the best of both worlds when it comes to um, access to both Georgia and South Carolina, um, access to all of South, quick access to all of South Carolina's um, really cool hiking and biking experiences and their waterfall experiences and all of those really cool things. And of course, Anderson is also right there. Anderson is a part of South Carolina. So if you want bigger shopping, you have access to that, to that rat fairly quickly. Um, by way of Anderson, and then you have access to it very, very quickly, excuse me, also because Athens is on the other side of it. So Athens is home to the University of Georgia, which is a very popular university here in, in Georgia. And so also what's in Athens are loads of job opportunities, loads of entertainment and restaurants opportunities. It's just a very diverse community, but you're super close to that. Now, some people, they're coming from the metropolitan areas and they don't really want to move to another area that's growing like it. Athens is definitely growing growing like it, it's, it's, it's bigger. So if you're wanting to still be close to the opportunities, but you wanna be set in the country, Elberton offers that beautifully. Another pro for living here in Elberton is that the pay scale for working in the granite industry is really, really nice. So what you'll find is that the granite industry here makes up about a third of 
a third of the, the economic industry here, the job opportunities that are here. And so a lot of the people in this community end up going in and working for the granite industry. And so it offers you an opportunity, even right out of high school, to be able to get paid a, a very nice um, salary just for working in this industry. So that's one of the pros about living here is having access to that. And then the other pro that I would like to mention is that you have a beautiful opportunity to improve your quality of life here. So especially if you are coming from the hustle and bustle, um, the bigger metropolitan areas. And I know I speak to that audience a lot, but I really do see this area, the Northeast Georgia and the Western Upstate area as a beautiful art alternative from, from that way of life. So you're able to come here and you're able to slow down and you're able to really ground yourself in the nature because you're surrounded by it. You're surrounded by the ruralness, um, the rural development that is here. And it's nice to be able to breathe, breathe in that different type of air that cleaner air, to be around the animals, to be around the nature trails, to be around the water, which comes in the form of the lakes that we have access to here, to be around even the culture of the people that are here. You know, the, our way of doing things is a little bit different and how we greet people, um, how we come into community. It doesn't make it right or wrong, but it's just different and I love it. So I think it's it's, it's a beautiful pro having that opportunity to improve your quality of life here in Elberton. Now let's talk about the cons. <laughs> I'm gonna get, I'm gonna be real with you on this one. You know, there it's not always peaches and cream here living in Elverton. So one of the first pro, one of the first cons that I will mention is about the weather. You know, we live here in the Georgia South. We have the humid heat here, and even though we experience a wonderful four seasons, four true seasons of the year. But Kali, when it, when it summertime, the humidity is crazy. The mosquitoes come out. Um, you know, it's, it's very common, depending on your blood type or how sweet you are, so to speak, to definitely be kissed by a few um, mosquitoes or a lot of them. But of course, you know, the humidity can be a bit rough if you are adjusting, if you're coming from a more arid or dry area. Um, you would definitely have to get used to it. Um, yeah, so that's the weather. Also, another con is that we don't have major malls or big forms of entertainment theaters, that sort of thing that you would normally find in some bigger cities. We don't have that here. So if you are looking for lots of opportunity, even though there are opportunities here, but if you're looking for um, a various or diverse amount of opportunities concerning shopping and entertainment and a diverse array of, of restaurants, food choices, that sort of thing, you won't find it here. We are a much smaller area, but you do have access to those things about 30 minutes away, but it's definitely not located right here in the city of Elberton. And then the last con that I'm gonna mention to you is that we do not have a lot of public school options in this city. So if you've watched the vlog tour that I gave on Elberton, you will have known that we have a learning center, um, a primary school, an elementary school, and then one middle school and one high school. So that's about five public schools, but it all depends on the age of the child. It's really like one school for the age of the child, the age or the grade of the child. So there are not a lot of options here. The flip side of that though, is that you do have access to other options. So as I said before, you're about 30 minutes from Athens. So Athens has an array of school options, um, especially private school, which would be something that you could potentially consider. Homeschooling is also a thing that is here. So there are opportunities to come into some homeschooling co-ops as well. But if you are looking for a various array, array of public school options, you won't find it here. <laughs> now, I hope you found this helpful. And if you did, or if you used to live in Elberton or you live in Elberton now, please comment below and let us know what you think about Elberton in general. If you have any tips or tricks for people thinking of moving out of town, maybe you can help them out with some things that I didn't mention here. And also, if you found value in this, we ask that you hit that like and subscribe button for sure. That would really help us out. But more importantly, we encourage you to watch some of the other videos as well as we deep dive into talking about Elberton. 
And if you stick around, I will add some neighborhood footage on the end right here. I'm just gonna hop in the car. I'm gonna drive around some of the neighborhoods. So until next time, we hope to see you around town. Bye. Thank you.